Hey, how you doing? Dan here. You know, I've been thinking about this for a long time. You know how some things to some people aren't very big, but to others they're huge issues. Well, for me, there's something that's been kind of stuck in my craw, kind of like, like that kernel of popcorn that just sticks between your teeth. It just irritates the crap out of you. And finally, you have to go up and do something about it. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about it, and that is butts, cigarette butts. Now this is one area that you can pretty much broad brush because it is only one faction of, of folks that are pretty much guilty for all the cigarette butts laying around, and that's smokers. Non-smokers aren't going to be throwing their butts out. How many people do you know that smoke but have a clean ashtray in their car. Most cars these days don't even have an ashtray. But just walk around anywhere and you'll see cigarette butts by the thousands just laying around. And that is smokers. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of people say, well I don't do that, I don't do that. Well first of all I know a lot of smokers that don't even have ashtrays in their car. So what are you going to do? You're going to flick it out. Now here in Southern California, we're real particular about that because of all the fires we've had and the water shortages we have now to fight those fires. And there's probably, oh, I would gather to say, and this is, this is my perspective from what I've seen, and I know it's fairly limited, but 1-2% to of the smokers out there will throw their butts away properly. The rest... Just, just flick them, put them out. I mean, they even do it before they're walking into the hospital. I see them out there waiting for their prescriptions, and they'll drop them on the ground and just step, step on them. Now, come on, guys. It really pisses me off. And this is an area where, you know, say like with, uh, with trash and littering, you can't just put that to one group of people. But with cigarette butts... You certainly can. Now, I understand. Like I said, there's about 2% of you out there, maybe 2%, that dispose of the butts properly. And the rest, just chuck them. Man, that pisses me off. And I don't care if it makes you mad or not. I mean, the other thing that, that you do is there's no smoking in certain areas. So uh, you go smoke right out in front of the doorway of some place just before you go in and you drop it on the ground at a grocery store or a, or a, whatever kind of store it is. And so first of all, we already got to smell that crap as we come walking through. And then we got to look at the cigarette butts. And of course, then when it rains or whatever, they wash down out into the ocean. Now, come on, you guys. Probably even worse are the folks that are out in boats out here in the bay and just flick it out into the, into the water. I mean, that right there is already just just polluting the water plus it's killing the fish now I'm making this video well actually for two reasons just to vent for one but second to see if I'm off base here do you guys agree with me on this cigarette butt issue I mean if you don't let me know I mean maybe I'm looking at this thing all wrong but when I see cigarette butts on the ground I attribute it to smokers and really it's just for one reason. It's not because you're stupid, because I know you know better. It's just, you're just damn lazy, and you just flick it out. And that's really the bottom line. The smokers that throw the cigarette butts out the window, or on the ground, or whatever, and don't dispose of them properly, it's laziness. Flat, plain, and simple.